And Anita, now to what will likely be a tricky cleanup effort. The flash flooding has left behind a swir swirling pile of garbage on the Schuylkill River. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Ryan is in Fairmount with the incredible pictures. Cleve? Well, you see those rain clouds behind me only going to add to the issues on the Schuylkill River, which is flooding down the Fairmont Dam and creating an enormous, no other way to put it, but log jam that's become so tightly packed. It's almost like a trash island that's now gathered here near Fairmont Park. Just a reminder of that destructive damage from these rain and flooding. Sandals, soccer balls, a life vest that might have come in handy, and more plastic bottles than you could count have been consumed by the raging Schuylkill River and deposited along the concrete banks of Fairmont Park. This trash has me just disgusted. I'm not too happy about it, but that's kind of the way it is. And when nature makes up her mind, she washes it out. While logs and branches make up a large portion of the debris, it's hard to ignore the dozens of balls and other personal items that might have been a child's treasured belonging until an epic rain event this week washed it all away. It gives a sense on how vulnerable people's property is when we get all that heavy rain and flooding and all that and how easily things can just get washed away. We pray for the rain. God gives us the rain, but no. It's too much. You need to stop. Many park visitors couldn't help but stop and stare at the sheer volume of debris. I can't believe there's so much trash and, the, and just the force of the water. Disaster, too much litter. This could destroy a lot of healthy water for a whole bunch of fish. Sophomore Temple rower Riley Hager says it's hard to see the river where her team practices looking like a floating landfill. It's pretty awful. It's like mind blowing, um, really. It's like, you know, I wish there was something that. Every, everyone could do about it. So the Fairmont Dam is loud with all the water rushing down, but you just hear that crunching of logs snapping like twigs with the sheer power of the river, which is raging at this point. Now, I talked to the Philadelphia Water Department. They will be in charge of cleaning all this up uh, when it's safe to do so. They have some vessels that will come out here that can skim up the trash, can even try to dislodge uh, some of these large tree trunks that we see gathered here. But again, it may take until the Schuylkill can calm down a little bit before they're able to do that work. Live in Center City, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Incredible amount of debris there. Thank you so much, Cleve. Meantime